welcome back to the eighth concession my name is Natalie well as you can see I'm back in the kitchen today and I'm going to do a little baking I was rummaging around in the fridge and I found a couple of little lost lemons so I am going to make one of my favorite recipes which is an old-fashioned lemon loaf now this recipe comes to me through my very best friend's mother and it was handed down to her even so it goes back quite a ways and I love it. It reminds me of the days when I was younger and I would visit my girlfriend on her veranda and her mother would make us this lemon loaf and bring it out to us. So it has good memories and it is also delicious. It's not difficult to make, but let's get to it. The first thing I'm gonna do is prepare my lemons. I'm just gonna use a hand grater and just get off some of the rind because I need two tablespoons grated lemon rind. Now I also need two tablespoons of lemon juice. So I'm gonna juice my lemons here. So first I'm going to mix the dry ingredients and it calls for one and a half cups of flour. So I'm using two three quarter measures. Then I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon salt. And one teaspoon baking powder. Mix them all together. And set it aside. Now for the wet ingredients, it calls for half a cup of butter or margarine. So I'm just going to use margarine. I don't keep butter in the house. As I've mentioned, I'm lactose intolerant. And although this recipe does call for a bit of milk, I find when the milk is baked in the bread, it doesn't bother me too much. But I don't use butter because I don't usually have it in the house. So we're going to cream together half a cup of butter and one cup of white sugar. So let's get our sugar out here. I'm going to add a bit at a time and cream them together. Now we're going to add two eggs courtesy of our hens. One. Alternate adding flour and the milk and with flour. All right, so we've got our flour mixture and we have our half a cup of milk. So usually you begin and end with flour. So I usually do it in thirds. And with the flour, I start mixing it by hand first. So when I put the mixer in, it doesn't go up in a cloud. Fold in nuts and rind. So it calls for half a cup of chopped nuts. I like to use pecans because they're sweeter for um, a very tart lemon loaf. Um, they're also pronounced pecans depending on where you live, um, but half a cup. And also the rind that we prepared earlier, lemon rind.
and those just get folded in. Oh, it already smells delicious. And there we go. Now we're going to pour it into a greased, it says 8 by 4 inch loaf pan, but I just use whatever I have. And we're going to bake it at 350 degrees for 55 to 60 minutes, so about an hour. The oven has been preheating. My loaf pan has been greased. In it goes. Such a nice light batter. All right, into the oven it goes. Now the final step for this delicious loaf is while it is still warm, just out of the oven, we're going to take our two tablespoons of lemon juice and we're going to add two tablespoons whoops, of sugar. Mix that together. Then we're going to poke some holes in our lemon loaf for this glaze to soak down in. With just a bamboo skewer. And then we are going to spoon our glaze all over the top of the loaf. Letting some of it sink in and letting the rest just make a lovely glaze on top. Now that it's cool, we're going to take it out. I like to loosen the edges. Oh, you can see it's coming out beautifully. I wish you could smell it. It smells just like summer. So there you go. Delicious smelling, very light and tasty lemon loaf. Well, I hope you get out your baking pans, find a couple of lemons in your fridge and try this recipe. You won't be disappointed. Bye for now.